the modern fruits. Now, most of us are addicted to fruits. We even have our favorite fruits. Some will say pineapples, some will say watermelon, and that watermelon uh, boosts your blood levels. Some of them will say a banana, and that a banana is a rich source of potassium, and this is healthy for your heart. Some of you will tell me uh, the mangoes, because mangoes are sweet and have high fiber. But if you ask your nutritionist, why are you advising me to take fruits? The only answer that comes from their mouth is that fruits are healthy and they have essential vitamins and fiber that is supposed to help you boost your immunity. How interesting that they leave out the major part, which is sugar. Because the reason why you eat fruits is not because they're healthy, it's because they are rich in sugar and you're addicted to that sugar. So if you take that sugar out of that fruit, then nobody will ever consume fruits. And that's the reason why we no longer consume uh, traditional fruits. We have moved all the way to the modern and genetically modified fruits. Now, what are these genetically modified fruits? These are basically the fruits that have been taken through uh, specific different modifications or adulteration to help them achieve a certain target. And that target is maybe to just introduce a specific trait that will help uh, the maneuver over uh, the environment or, uh, or even get you addicted. They started with a very good will. And the will was that we develop these fruits uh, to help them resist droughts so that even in drought we still have a stable supply of fruits and also resist pests and harmful or different uh, environmental changes so that we get access or get to produce fruits that are stable provision for the food industry to produce those fruit juices and even those processed foods, okay? But then the idea came in that, hey, if at all we have to produce these foods, then we have to get the masses addicted to our products. We cannot do that through the mainstream media alone. We cannot advertise our products through the media alone because the larger percentage of the uh, population has no access to this media. Therefore, what do we do? Modify them geti genetically to improve on the sugar trait, which is fructose. Once you improve on that, then you keep these masses addicted to our products. And therefore, we have a stable supply of a customer for the rest of the life until somebody comes up and talks to them. Uh, before that, we will have made billions and trillions of dollars of profits out of this. And that's where greed came in. And that's where modern fruits are a no for anybody who wants to lose weight, anybody who wants to recover from chronic dietary conditions like diabetes, hypertension, cancer, hyperinsulinemia, and insulin resistance, and even a fatty liver. Because fructose is the number one sugar cause of a fatty liver. And once you have a fatty liver, then therefore you will get into insulin resistance. And once you have insulin resistance, then the metabolic syndrome automatically follows suit. So all these chronic conditions come in as a result of insulin resistance. So we've been singing about insulin resistance all through, and this is just the channel under which fructose takes you. Again, remember, fructose is the only sugar that can be directly, is converted actually by the liver directly to triglycerides, which are basically fat. And therefore, if you're taking fruits to get you healthy and to get you losing weight because they are healthy, you're lying to yourself. You'll never lose that fat. You will continue growing fat because fructose in the, in the fruits is converted to uh, triglycerides, which is fat, and therefore you keep on growing fat and you keep on going into these conditions. And this is totally uh, orchestrated by the food industry in conjunction with the big pharma because once you get into those conditions, then of course we have a solution in the name of drugs. So you will be our slave for as long as you live. We have you figured out from the time you are born to the time you die. And that figuring out is only interested in your pocket and not you, okay? So stay sane of modern fruits. So now, all this, I already told you that the sugar that is in fruits is fructose, and fructose, an increase in fructose, the reason why we're telling you to stay away from these fruits is because this fructose will give you the addiction. Because again, remember dopamine addiction? Here is where it comes in. So fructose will give you, and the glucose will give you uh, fr uh, uh, dopamine addiction, and therefore you'll get addicted to these fruits. Now, just remember that hospitals and doctors and even nutritionists 
all the healthcare system is just a branch of the big pharma near you. So your nutritionist will keep insisting. And if you realize, most nutritionists are fat and obese. So they are advising you about healthy living. They are using that as their standard of healthy living because of the nutritional guidelines. But they are unable to lose weight themselves. They are on diabetic drugs. So the only thing they tell you is continue eating fruit so that because misery loves company. So that we become all the same. We go through the same cycle of in and out of the hospitals. You get that advice. You go eat your fruits faithfully. You take your drugs faithfully and the cycle continues. So our essence is to tell you the foods that you're supposed to avoid for you to get cleared from these conditions and therefore you will not need drugs. And therefore you save your money to buy healthy foods and also to invest in other things. And again, for the sake of longevity, you get a, a life that is easy from these chronic dietary conditions. Now, healthy foods are not sexy. They don't look uh, that appealing because some of these combinations do not appeal to the eye. However, they appeal to the body. They appeal to the soul, and that's what we require. We do not need foods that appeal to the eye, and they don't appeal to our healthy living. So again, remember, these genetically modified fruits have been taken through different uh, modifications to top up sugar. Then, once they are uh, cultivated, there is a use of chemicals. So chemicals that are used in fertilizers, chemicals that are used are like herbicides which have high content of glyphosate. Now, this glyphosate mimics estrogen. It actually acts as though it's estrogen in the body. And therefore, it activates estrogen receptors in your body. So if you're a man, then therefore you start exhibiting the characteristics of a woman. That's the reason why you have those man boobs. You have a very big uh, pot belly. You have these uh, uh, buttocks. You have fat accumulating in your thighs and your hands and your arms. And therefore, you become a fat man, which basically takes you to an emotional side and takes you to being more of a woman. Okay? And we don't want that to happen in men because now you start losing your sexual urge, your sexual power, and, and, your, and your masculine uh, frame. Again, if you're a woman, a high content of estrogen is definitely leading you to cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, and all these those cysts that you have, those fibroids, okay? That endometriosis because estrogen dominance is the major problem in our modern woman. That weight gain is because of estrogen. So therefore, you're supposed to avoid modern fruits because of genetic modification that uh, use chemicals and also because of the fertilizers that we use and herbicides that are rich in glyphosate that mimics estrogen. So it might look like you have high amounts of estrogen in the system and it's because of what you're taking in, okay? So avoid uh, these genetically modified fruits. Again, on that point before I, I move, we have calcium carbide. Calcium carbide is a chemical that is used to ripen fruits. <laughs> now you can imagine, from the time they are cultivated, we are using fertilizers. Then we use herbicides and those uh, other chemicals to help us control pests and herbs. And then we use again chemicals to ripen these fruits. And then once they get into your stomach, they give you fructose, high amounts of fructose. So you are, it's like you're taking a whole umbrella, umbrella sorry, of of harmful components bit by bit. And that favorite nutrition will tell you a fruit a day will keep a doctor away. But again, we repeat in this channel that that one fruit a day for a whole year will keep the doctor even more closer than he would be if you didn't take that fruit. So you'll be a slave to the hospitals. You'll be a slave to the big farmer because of what you're consuming. And every information you try to find out about fruits is scanty. They always mention the vitamins, the health, but they do not, they tell you they boost immunity, but they don't tell you how. Nutritionists have been in a biochemistry class. They have understood the basics, but will still come out brainwashed enough to tell the masses that fruits are healthy, but do not explain how they are healthy. If your nutritionist cannot answer that question, then why are you still uh, having him as your nutrient or food advisor? Drop him and start experimenting on your own. Find information on your own and start understanding how your body will react to these things. Because again, if you've never gone to a biochemistry class, it will be hard for you to relate these things. But you need guidance. But unfortunately, those who are supposed to guide you through are the ones who are marketing the big pharma to you. So again, the health system is a little messed up and uh, it's a little unfortunate. Now, fructose, we say it will lead to insulin resistance. From insulin resistance, you'll get the metabolic syndrome. So you get fructose from the fruit, you get into a fatty liver, you get into insulin resistance, 
you get into all metabolic syndrome and cancer and therefore you go to drugs. So that's how the process of fruits take you into drug uh, slavery. So the point is this, you do not need fruits. All those vitamins that are present in those fruits are present in vegetables, the cruciferous vegetables. Why don't you opt for vegetables? Because vegetables do not have sugar and therefore you will absorb these nutrients. Again, remember that sugar and that fruit will inhibit the absorption of healthy nutrients. That's the reason why you'll go into nutrient deficiency. So you eat fruits hoping to be healthy and then you end up in nutri nutrient deficiencies. If at all fruits were healthy because people have been consuming these fruits for the longest period of time, why are we having all these diabetes cases rising every other day? Why do we have so much money being pumped in diabetes studies but still come out with the same answers they've been using all before? That tells you there's something that you're not being told. So start learning on your own. Stay away from fruits. You can consume avocado because of essential and healthy fats. You can consume the lemon because of maybe vitamin C, but lemon sometimes, modern lemons have fructose, small amount of fructose. So our traditional fruits used to be bitter. They used to have fibers. They used to be seasonal. So you eat them today and you'll eat them the next year, the same, same season. So you have all this time to wash them out of the system. But nowadays, fruits are always in market. I even wonder why you people keep on defending that and you always, these are just things that you see. You open up your door or your gate, there's somebody selling a fruit. There's always fruits in market and these fruits, how do you even identify genetically modified fruits? Okay, how do you do that? Basically, this is the way. I even saw guavas are being modified and I was surprised. But again, that is it. It's just what it is. So how do you identify these genetically modified fruits? One, they are not seasonal. So if fruits are always in market and always in season, it's time for you to run away. Those papayas are always in season. Those apples are always in season. Those watermelons are always in season. The mangoes are ever in season. The oranges. So how is it possible that all these fruits are in season at the same time and always the whole year? That's a good question. Number two, they do not have seeds. Most of them have limited seeds. You see them. Very limited seeds, but fruits are supposed to have seeds. Now, traditional fruits used to taste, taste bitter and they had high amount of fiber. Modern fruits do not have that. So if your mango and your, and your fruits do not have fiber, stay away from them. They're supposed to stick in your teeth so that you have a hard time getting them off. But if they don't have that fiber, stay away from them. So they have no seeds. They have no fiber. They're extremely sweet and juicy because they want you to be hooked on them. They are so much marketed. Okay. They are very appealing in appearance. Fruits are not appealing. Traditional fruits are not appealing, but modern fruits and genetically modified fruits are so appealing. Then this is just basically to just get you hooked on it. They have high amounts of sugars and above all, they do not even attract flies. There's no even bees. If you see a fruit that doesn't attract flies, the same to meat. If they don't attract flies, then that tells you that nature is not speaking to that fruit. So it's time for you to run away. So that's just how to identify genetically modified fruits. And to be safe, because the, the world is weird, the only way to be safe is to stay away from these modern fruits totally. You do not need fruits. They do not have those essential minerals. And even if they have them, they have one mineral that is called, one, 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 uh, one, one compound that is called sugar. And that sugar will actually block the absorption of other nutrients because the body again prefers something that will give it a reward. So stay sane from modern fruits. They are not healthy. They, are, they don't have all those nutrients that you think they have. They will affect your health. They'll get you into chronic metabolic conditions. And we will be here to talk about drugs. So stay away from fruits apart from avocado and lemon.